Da -de -da -de 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 -de. Welcome back, my friends. This is BJJ Brick Quick. Here we go. <laughs> Sometimes it's not as quick as I would like. <laughs> I shoot for five minutes. It's never. I think we're always over five minutes. But today we're talking about jujitsu and art. Is jujitsu an art form? Is it a sport? Perhaps it's a martial art. Oh, yes, we solved the question right there in the definition. I'd like to hear your comments and, and read what you have to say. Comment. Uh, we post these automatically on Facebook. And a few of you guys are really nice to uh, like or comment on them. Really appreciate that. Shows a little bit of love. But if you have a strong opinion or you want to think, you know, throw out an idea about this concept of jujitsu being an art, man, that'd be cool. Put it on Facebook, just a little comment, or you can send it to me in an email. A little less public. BJJBrick at gmail.com is my email. Man, I'm getting off topic already. <laughs> We're rolling with this. Sometimes rolls don't go as uh, linear as you would think, and we get a little distracted by ourselves. Um, this episode is Jiu-Jitsu and Art. It's finding your game. And this happened to me around Purple Belt. It felt like it started to become an art for me. And maybe this will happen to you at a different belt or whatever. There's, I'm not saying that my way was, you know, the way I recommend. It's just where I really stopped doing the necessary, like the blueprint my coach was handing me. And I started to find things and ways to do those things that were a little different. Now, I didn't invent things, but I, I would, you know, go research something and try it. And oh, this pairs well. Like one of my first decent moves, which wasn't any good, but I thought it was, was just armbar from guard. And when they would, a lot of times my training partners would escape that armbar and it would set up my triangle really nicely. So I have like a nice little combination. Even as a as a white belt, I was doing that combination and, and it was kind of fun. But it was still like my coach was saying, you know, when they do this, then there's your triangle. And I really like that, that it was way more easier to land that triangle with that, with them trying to escape a, an arm bar. But eventually you find little nuances to your, to finishing your triangle. You, you find things that, that will help you set up your arm bar that are a little bit different than your coach is telling you maybe whatever. For me, I've, this kind of time was around purple belt. And I'm not saying your coach isn't telling you the best way to do it. <laughs> but as I, you know, things just feel differently for everybody. Um, you know, like right right now, I, for, for a long time, I've had uh, a damaged rib. Um, I don't know, more than 15 years. And I can't sleep on my side unless I'm sleeping on a, I mean, I'm really talking about getting off topic. Um, like a, like a, uh, memory foam style mattress. I can sleep on that side. Otherwise the rib still bothers me. I'm like a, like a spring mattress. I'll, I'll I will wake up and my rib will hurt me if I'm sleeping on it. So it's kind of a, a lasting injury, I might say, but I do things differently in jujitsu because of that rib. And so even if there is a best way, if I have like coach John Danher telling me this is the best way to do that and I'm doing it and I feel my rib kind of feel a little funky um, that's not my way. That's not the best way for me. So I have a little problem solving to do. And maybe this isn't the best technique for me to do. Instead of in the same position where, where you know, somebody that has a lot of credibility is recommending this, I need to do something else for my body. Maybe it's just because I'm interested in something else. In jiu-jitsu, it seems kind of odd, but what you're interested in is really important. You know, as far as like, if you're really into leg locks, that's awesome. If you have no interest in leg locks, that's part of your game. If you're interested in just chokes, I, I much enjoy uh, choking versus you know, doing a foot lock to somebody. So I've always gravitated towards attacking the neck and giving a chance. <laughs> that's kind of this me as what I prefer to do as a grappler versus, you know, looking back for a foot lock and, and, trying to control the legs and and that sort of thing. And that has helped me develop 
and 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 you will once you kind of lead. We talked a couple of episodes about paint by numbers. Once you leave that system and you develop your own game based on what your interests are, what your body can do, what your body's good at, what you prefer to do, uh, you know, what your like like let's say you get really good. I got pretty good at arm and guillotines a few years ago, and then I found an arm and guillotine from a guard pass I was trying to learn, and I got oh this is this combines really well, and so one of my ways I like to pass the guard <laughs> also is a way I, I set up a, a guillotine. And it's not, I would say it's not unique to me, but when my training partners grapple with me, they probably don't get that the same way from anybody else. Like <clears throat> I'm, I'm good at that guard pass and I'm good at that guillotine. And I'm going to put those two together and they're going to happen at the same time. And that's kind of a, what I think of like, this is kind of an art. I could show you that. I could show you that. I could show you my guillotine. I could show you my guard pass. And I tell you, I think you get pretty decent at each of those separately. It's not going to work for you very well. There's a lot of little nuances with, with things like <laughs> jujitsu, I guess, um, that that make you, have, you know, break it apart, break it down, and, and learn things uh, at a smaller level. Get those paint-by-numbers in. And then see how they plug into your pre-existing game, and make it. And that's kind of where I think you find art. Certainly, if you're creating things and you you find yourself in positions that that are either rare or unique, there's room for creativity there. I'm not the most creative grappler. Some people are known for that. I am not one of those, <laughs> but I still feel like I'm doing some form of art that is unique to what I'm doing uh, on the mats. Not it's not optimal. I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm saying this would it's I'm trying to find the best thing that my body would let me do to get uh, the best results on the math. So I don't know. I like to hear your comments. Is your just doing art? Is it just paint by numbers? Are you out there just are, are you that random abstract painting that is a total bunch of chaos? I don't know. <laughs> if you've enjoyed the podcast, check us out on Patreon. We'd appreciate like a monthly support uh, donation there. If not, uh, another way to support us is an audio book. There's a few of them in the BJ Brick store that will help you develop your game, I hope. Either way, we're happy that you're here today. Hope you have a great day, my friend, and stay sweaty. <laughs>